is good. We're going to say Shalom. We're going to say all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. Rakak with Gosh. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all you Akim out there teaching the gospel. Hey, we was commanded to teach the gospel on the streets. We was commanded to go wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel and preach saying the kingdom of heaven's ahead. You say you got something? Guys, they won't go out teaching when it's cold. It's not even that cold today, actually. It'd be a lot worse. Romans 8, 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, yeah, time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right. The reason a lot of people, they don't want to uh, really teach, they don't go on the streets because that suffering. If not only they, get, they don't like the cold or whatever, shit, they want to go out teaching on a hot summer day. You know what I mean? Because they can't deal. Because when you start teaching the truth and you come out on the streets, you know what I mean? Your family will come against you. Your wife might leave you. Evil has to flee in the sound of the truth. Yep. Go ahead. That's why many people don't want to hear it. What is the truth? The truth is that God is all powerful. That's all true. What God does? What's one day he will bring judgment upon humanity. What's his name? What's his name? Yeah. What's his name? What's his name is Yahweh. Yeah. I bet you that guy, he knows, he know he came through like he was some kind of, you ever watch him one of the movies and the old wise man pop out of nowhere? Yeah. With a, with a, with a, with a proverb? I the dude ain't never teaching on the streets. He gonna come up and try to drop some wisdom. That's a perfect example. A guy like that, he don't really know the truth. I mean, he said God's all powerful. I mean, who don't know that? that he ain't gonna be on the streets teaching. Hey, you should read that again. You still got it? Oh, that's good. But it's suffering. But that's the main reason people don't want to teach it. So, teaching is truth to cause you to suffer. But that's good though. Through suffering, uh, give me that. Uh, Tried in a fire strip. You know what I mean? Well, there's a couple of them. Well, you can be the Zachariah one. Yeah, that because we'll get the one third and two thirds scripture. Because two thirds of our people, two thirds of Israel, they ain't no goddamn good. Because you got two types of Israelites. You got the one third of Israel, that's the part of Israel that's getting saved, and then you got the two thirds of Israel. That's the ones that's not getting saved. They're going to get destroyed. Hey, who did he come to save? Uh -huh. What people did he come to save? He came to save the world. Right. What Not world? Just the Israelites. He saved the Ever. world. Is that what the Bible? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten I Son. Give, give Matthew 15 and 24. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Matthew 15 and 24. See, we know that scripture. The Bible scripture. says that God will send false teachers in the last days. Whatever, dude. Uh, 24. It says that he answered. Hold on, hold on. One second. Hold up. But see, you can't deceive me because God speaks to me directly. Hey, let God me ask you a question. Let me. Uh, you walk away. I want to. I let you speak. I let you speak, and then when I speak, you walk away. But I, I want to read a scripture. I want to read a scripture, and you tell me what this means. Defend the gospel. No, actually it is. The book of Acts says that Paul consented to, uh, uh, contend with people daily. It is. That's what we're doing. We are not approved. You have failed. Have Terrible. Failed. You're supposed to defend the gospel. Let's read it. Defending the gospel right but you're not now. supposed to argue, though, because you said. Because see, the Bible yeah, says. Yeah, you started an argument. You started. A, you started an argument. A power you started an argument. You started it. Right. Start. What listen to this. Is, Matthew yes, 15. And listen, that is listen. America's future. That is correct. Listen. But what you're preaching is hatred. Let's, no, God no. does not show favoritism. Listen, listen. God loves whites. 
blacks, Mexicans, Did we say? Italians, did we say anything about skin color? Did we say anything about skin color? And see, not what color? Uh, no, what color am I? What, what color am I? Not only is what, what color am I? What color am I? You're white. What color? Well, I'm not white, but what color is he? You're white. Are we the same color? No. So what are you talking about? Read but it. God does not Matthew 15 color. and 24. Listen. Be answered and said, this I will, am. This is what the Lord said. Red letters. Read it. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the book of Matthew. The 15th chapter. Read it again. James Bible. But I am yes. not, yes, but I am not sent unto the lost, I mean, that's like it, but I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he said he only came for the Israelites, so we no, lying? Wrong. It's in the Bible. Oh, the Bible's wrong. No, God said in and the read New it again. Testament. Read it again. New Testament, Testament Matthew. In the same this is the New Testament. Is the book of Matthew in the New Testament? Yes. Is Jesus in the New Testament? But you, are, you guys are taking your own understanding. No, he didn't. Instead of the understanding of the Holy Spirit. Give me Ma Matthew which 10. Which God has sent. Give me Matthew 10. I am done arguing. You God don't, bless you and we'll see you There is no the argument. You can't argue because there's no argument. You sound <laughs> foolish when you speak. You failed, man. You failed. God damn. This is Matthew 10 and 6. Well, uh, Start at 5. Yeah. yeah. 5 says, Then these 12, Yahweh Shai, because his name is not Yeshua, it's Yahweh Shai, sent forth. And commanded them, saying, "Go into the house. Uh, go not, go, <laughs> go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but rather, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." Oh, so the Bible said, "Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." That's two scriptures we read. Two, not one, but two. And we about to be three. He said, "Go only to the Israelites." We just read it, Matthew ten five and six. He said, go only to the Israelites. So we making that up, but we got it out. How are we making that up? That's in the Bible. Nice, That's your boy. <laughs> this is uh, Acts 5 and 30. It says, the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, so-called Jesus, whom he slew and hung on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior for get for to give repentance to Israel and his forgiveness of sins. Right, so the Lord said he came to uh, give repentance to Israel. He came away to take Israel's sins. He didn't say all nations. The Lord didn't say go to the lost sheep of the house of the Hamites. Go to the lost sheep of the house of the Edomites. He didn't say that. You don't know the Bible. 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 I got this. Uh, this is Galatians 4. Hey, we the only real teachers. Y'all supposed to listen, listen to us. We the only ones that have the truth. Galatians 4 and 4. It said, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoptions of sons. Right, because Israel is the only people under the law. When Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments and the rest of the law, he, he who did they get a law to? He gave it to the Israelites. Ah, I got what James. Hey, this is the book of James in the New Testament. James one and one. Hey, James is the brother of the Lord. James 1 and 1. I'm going to let this bus go by. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. So that's the book of James. And he said his book, his epistle, was he was only talking to the 12 tribes. And notice it said they were scattered. Because Israel scattered among all nations. So James said he was only talking to the Israelites. Just like the Lord said in the book of Matthew. He said he's only talking to the Israelites. He said he only came to save the Israelites. That's all through the Bible. Well, we just thank your boy for helping us get in the spirit, you know. That's all he did. He jump-started us. That, that was the most high that did that. He's like, let me give y'all a jump start. People sound retarded when they spit. And that dude, he was kind of 
kind of, he looked kind of slow, you know? So the Lord only came for the, hey, get that uh, Romans the 11 chapter. What's that, 11 and uh, 20 something? You can just go straight to the point of Romans 11 and 26. Romans 11 and 26 is to all Israel shall be saved. Oh, it said, uh, uh, skip up to the verse above there. So I should not that you should be ignorant of the mystery. Go ahead. So blindness has happened to Israel. Go ahead. It's all about Israel. Go ahead. The fullness of the Gentiles come in because the fullness of the Gentiles coming in, that's all those Israelites that were scattered among all the nations. So all Israel cannot be saved. Until the Lord sift all the nations. Because Israel scattered among every nation. So the Lord going to sift all the nations. They're going to bring Israel out of the nations. Go ahead. So all Israel shall be saved. And so all Israel shall be saved. It didn't say so all nations shall be saved. It didn't say that. It said all Israel shall be saved. It didn't say all Hamites shall be saved. It didn't say all Edomites shall be saved. It said all Israel. It is... It is that's in the Bible. Go ahead. It says, As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Oh, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Oh, Yahweh Shai, the one y'all call Jesus. Yahweh Shai, that's Hebrew. And it, it literally means he saves. Yah means he in Hebrew. And in Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, that means savior or deliverer. Hey, so read that again. Because he's the savior, he's the deliverer. Of Israel. Go ahead, read that. So he's going to turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Is there more to that? And Jacob is Israel. Okay? So he said he's going to turn away godliness from Jacob. It, is, it didn't talk about the other heathens. The Lord ain't dealing with no heathens. Okay? The, the Bible is not for a heathen. The Bible is only for the Israelites. It was written by Israelites for Israelites. And that's a fact. Anybody teaching otherwise, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. But most of these people that claim they know the Bible, they don't know the Bible. They don't know shit. <laughs> these people, they, everybody full of shit out here, man. Think they know so all. Oh, what's that scripture in Galatians? When a man thinks himself, and when he thinks he's something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. These people, they think they know so much when they really know so little. Nah. It's great, man. You try to argue with us and then you try to come back. He's all, no, I don't argue. Yeah, right. He's sitting here yelling, now let us speak. You over here speaking, now let us speak. And they ain't trying to hear it. They know that fire is coming. Somebody, they try to hit you back. Like, oh, I ain't not fighting, man. Yeah, I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, uh, second yeah, that's what it is. Like, so we're going to come by and sneak you real quick and run away. Yeah. And then he's like standing at the end of the street saying, do something. Do something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like that Acts, Acts 17 said, Paul was daily disputing with people. Disputing is an argument. Like, arguing is putting the case out. He's doing that daily. That stupid ass doctrine of Christians got shit stupid. Yeah, talking about you can't argue. But he started an argument. He came over here yelling at us. So fuck him. Second Corinthians 2 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God as a sincerity, but as of God and in the sight of God, which we read in Mashiach. Yeah, because most people that handle this Bible, they they when they they try they corrupting it. They speaking lies on the scriptures. They talking about, oh, the Lord love everybody. All nations can be saved. They, t they teach everything wrong. They say, uh, oh, you don't have to keep the laws. The law done away with. Everything they talking about is madness. Blasphemy. These people is whacked in their head out here, man. And you can't teach them. You can't teach these people nothing. You can't teach them shit. They're hopeless. They are lost cause. That's why there's only a few that's going to listen. Just like King Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes. 
He said, out of a thousand men, he only found one righteous man. Out of a thousand. So, most of these people, they, 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 they just, they dumb. What's that, that clip dance? Like I said, most, most of these people, there's no hope for them, bro. You're wasting your time talking to most of these people. If you, usually, you just talk to them for entertainment. Go ahead. This as I found said to preach your account one by one to find out the account which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I found not. Right, so the Lord said I'm a thousand men. And he don't, out of a thousand men, he only found one righteous man. But out of all them thousand, not a single woman. So I tell you about the woman. The truth ain't really for the woman. So what well, you can't you can't even teach the men. So what you think you're gonna do with a woman? You gonna teach her? Most of the men won't even listen. And that's why the when you read the script, because the truth is for men. I mean women can obviously believe in the most high. But doing this work, this is this is a man's job. Coming out here and teaching. You know, you don't send a woman to do a man's job. You know what I mean? That's why women ain't supposed to go fight in wars, and battle. Okay? This is a man's job right here. We out here for the men. <laughs> Could you imagine you had a woman in your camp? So, oh, give me. <laughs> First, <that's... laughs> Cause you know she will automatically she be going off on all the scriptures. You know the woman she get emotional and she don't know how to stay on track with the doctrine. She be all over the place. Uh, like you said, among uh, a thousand men, we found one. Cause like when we preach these words, it's, it's, it's just it's like this abomination to them. Like they hate it. Like oh, what you mean God? Niggas always said it. What kind of God this? What kind of God that? It's, it's, just, it's hard. It's too hard for them to understand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, we talking about the same Bible where, where the Most High killed everybody in the flood. We talking about him. But God don't hate nobody. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Uh, just, just an example of how people, they think about the word. is uh, John 6 and uh, 60. He says, meaning therefore of his disciples, when you have... Uh, when you have heard this said, this is a hard sin, who can hear it? It's, that's just an example. They were, some, people, some people were dealing with Yahweh Shai and they, they left me. They oh, I'll like, get that scripture. Where are you at? Uh, John 6. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It was like, you know what I'm saying? You know, the bread, you know. Oh, yeah, that's where he just read the bread. He said he was the bread of life, huh? Yeah. That's like us saying now. He's like, oh, yeah, the Lord hates literally the little Israel, the Lord, the so called black man, to come back to put people in slavery. You're like, it's like it's a hard sin. Who can uh, who can hear it? It says when Yahushua knew it in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? Oh, he's gonna ascend. And they tell you about that. Ask the first chapter. The Lord got beamed up into the ship. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. There are some of you that believe not. Yeah, because we got the words of life. These people, they got the words of death. Where's, where's you at on that? Keep going on that. Did you already read 66? Uh, yeah, the word. All right, keep going. I think I'm going to ready, though. Okay, yeah. there's more to it. Did you read 66? Yeah, the word is life. Where's the part he said that when y'all leave me also? Read that part. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Alright, so you ain't got no choice like the Lord said. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. 
So whether you get this truth or not, that's, you don't get to choose that. You know how the Christians be like, oh, on this day I chose the Lord and Jesus to be my savior. You know how they do that. Like I chose, you know, there is no choice. The only way you can get the truth is if the Heavenly Father reveals it to you in His Spirit. Go ahead. Right, because yeah, a lot of people was with Yahushua and they left him. They they had they uh, got offended at what he said. He said he was the bread of life. But he asked the disciples, "Are y'all gonna leave too?" He's like, "They pretty like, why we leave? Why are we gonna leave you? You got the words of eternal life. Oh, that's why you got a lot of dudes that, that, that do the work like we do it, and they'll fall out the truth. I mean, that happens a lot. They'll do the work for a year, two years, five years, maybe, maybe more." And then one day they'll fall the hell out of the truth. But why would you do that? Well, you know this is eternal life right here. You know what I mean? You ain't Peter ain't gonna fall out the truth. <laughs> I got a scripture. You see, most of these people they, they hate the they hate the Bible. Really, they hate the Bible. They claim they love the Lord. Now, now when you read the scriptures, they don't. Because they hate the scriptures. They can't stand them. You see, your boy, we read it. He was up here. We read an actual scripture out of an actual Bible. And he said that that was hate. He was just, that's what he said. Yeah, we was reading out of, yeah. He's like, oh, that's the Old Testament, though. No, that's the New Testament, fool. <laughs> That's why these people, they reject the Lord. They claim they love the Lord. They don't really, they re really reject him because they reject his words and his teachings. Now, let me get this. I'm going to just go straight to the point. John 1 and 10, it says, He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So that, that's what that's John, the first chapter. So it told you the Lord came into the world, and the world knew him not. But these people, they don't know the Lord. They claim they love, oh, I love Jesus. I love the Bible. No, you don't. You Because every time, every time we read the scriptures, y'all have a problem with it. Every time. But look, but as many... But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on his name. Uh, your boy talking about Yeshua. The Lord's name ain't Yeshua. The Lord's name is Yahweh Most people, they're not going to believe on that name. They want to hold on to the name of sweet Jesus. Name, uh, we had this dude, he was coming out. We got the videos on his channel. He was coming out, listening to his teach for like what, a month, two months. The boy James, and then he stopped. He stopped uh, coming out with us because we didn't use the name Jesus, and we had a problem with the name Jesus. So that's because he didn't believe on the name. He had a problem with the name. Oh Jesus! Hey Jesus, that's really by Alzebub. The Lord's name ain't Jesus. That's really the devil. The Jesus they teaching you on the churches, that's really the, that's Satan. Because <laughs> he believe he teaches everything opposite of the Bible. That Jesus in the churches, they say he loves everybody. The God of the Bible don't love everybody. Uh, Yahweh Shai, the real son of God, he, he, don't, he never said he loved everybody. He never said, said he came to save all nations. He never said that. Yes, I'm. Ah. Whoo! I thought I was just saying something. Let's get this one. 
is a Jeremiah 12 and uh, uh shit. Two says thou has printed them, yea, they have they have taken root, they grow, yay. I didn't even hear it. the damn truck was so loud. It says, it says dark near in their mouth and far from their rents. People say they we all love God, love God, bullshit. Yeah. They're far from their mind. Oh, yeah, that's God. true. Yeah. What do we do God there about them? That's all talk. Like, they ain't going to walk the walk and talk the talk or however you say it. They not going to come out here and teach, are they? They not going to spread the gospel. They not really enthusiastic about it like we are. That's because the Lord put that spirit of enthusiasm on. You know what I mean? We get in the spirit, bro. We believe in this truth so much, we come on the streets and teach. And the Lord ain't give that spirit to nobody else. And that's how you know we the real prophets. We, we, the real, we really out here. We actually come out and do this work. Who else is doing it? Don't you think if the Lord had servants, they'd be doing his work? You know what I mean? I was thinking about a scripture I was about to get. It said John 17 and uh. Let me get this. Ha. I'm going to start at John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine, that, why we just said read that Ecclesiastes, it said out of a thousand men you only found one righteous man. Is this truth? It's not for everybody. The truth is not for everybody. So if you get this truth, that's a blessing. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. See, we kept the word in the Most High. That's why we are here teaching it. Now them Christians, them Christians, they're not keeping the word of the Most High. It says, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. They have received them. See, we received the words. When the scripture said the Lord only came for the Israelites, we received that. We accepted. And that's what's in the scriptures. But the so-called Christians and Jesus lovers, they don't accept it. They haven't received it. They reject the words. Uh, and they have received them and have known surely that I come out of thee and they have believed that thou didst send me. Look, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine. Oh, he said for God so loved the world. But the Lord said, he said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So the Lord, he don't give a damn about the people of this world. What's that? Uh, 1 John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the hell with this world. Oh, give me that John uh, uh, James. What's that? So that's what the Lord, that's in the Bible. It says, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Right, the hell, we're not praying for the world. The hell with the world. The world is evil. The people in the world is evil. We're going to pray that they get a swift destruction. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they, for they are thine. Uh, go ahead, read that. James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteress. Know you not that the fish of the world is empty of God? He said, ye adulterers and adulteresses. Really, that's all you got out here is a bunch of adulterers and adulterers. Okay, that's a heavy sin that's out here, a heavy demon. It's out here the spirit of adultery. It's, that's why you, there's no such thing as marriage no more. Everybody just sleeping around, just doing whatever, whatever the hell they want to do. All kind of diseases spreading. No kind, all kind of families broken up. A bunch of adulterers and adulterers. And the Lord hates an adulterer. Go read that again. Really, that's that's the spirit of the, the world. Is the spirit of adultery. And they committed uh, adultery against the Most High. You know what I mean? Spiritually. Go ahead. Adulterers, adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity of God? Uh, whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Right, so the Bible says if you are a friend of the world, that you are an enemy of the Most High. You're an enemy. You're the, en you're the enemy of the Most High. 
If you love this world and the people in this world, then you the enemy. So what was that guy talking about? God love everybody. The scripture said, if you love these people, that you the enemy of the most high. It ain't making no sense out here. I'm going to go back to this John 17. Uh, this is 17 to 10. All mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Right, so the Lord glorified by us coming out here. We out here giving glory to the Lord. But most people, they're ashamed to do that. They look at us like we crazy. Oh, y'all crazy. Teaching the Bible on the streets. But we giving glory to the Lord. There ain't nothing crazy about that. He said, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I come to thee in these things, I speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Oh, this is a joy. <laughs> Coming out teaching, this is a joyous occasion. Every every time we come out, you know what I mean? It, this is it, it bring, it's the only thing to give you happiness. Look, I have given, this is John 17 and 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. So the Lord said right here with John 17 and 14, he said he gave us his word and the world hated us for it. And that's why people come, you already seen it. Your boy came out, he came against us. We read the scripture, then the Lord said he gave us his word, right? We read his word. We out here, what does his word say? It said, the Lord only came for the Israelites. Okay, the Bible clearly said the Lord only came to save Israel. That's his word. That's what the word says. Now we read that and people have a problem with it. They hate us. They gnashing their teeth at us. You know what I mean? They they want to see us off the streets. And they, you know what I mean? These people, these people is evil, bro. Ah. Right, because the world only loves their own. Who's their own? People that speak sweet, soft words. These people, they don't want to hear the truth. All they want to hear is smooth things. They want to hear, oh, God is peace. God is love. Jesus loves you. I mean, you ain't learning nothing from that, bro. That's retarded. You know what I mean? We ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> Every boy is laughing as we said that. <laughs> This dumbass video, I keep getting suggestions on me on fucking YouTube. It says something like, uh, uh, I guess it's a dumbass couple. I guess it's the dude's wife is a whore or some shit. I don't know. Oh. I, ain't, I ain't even watched the video. I was about to make a video on it, but I forgot. But uh, the title is, uh, She's Not. What's it? I forgot. He said, he, She's Not a Slut. She's, she's my wife. Whatever the fuck. He said, Pretty much he said, Love, don't, love does not judge. You know what I'm saying? That's the complete opposite. If you love somebody, you're going to tell them that, look, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this right. You need to judge them. If you don't love nobody, you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to give a fuck about them. You're going to let them do whatever the fuck. But it's like if you have a child, you're gonna, if you love the little, the little bastard, you're going to teach them, well, look, don't do this. Don't sell drugs. Don't don't hang out with this crowd. Yeah. But if you don't love your child, then you're going to let them do whatever the fuck you want. Then you're going to grow up, be a goddamn gangbanger, whatever the hell, bag it, and then get his head blown off. And that's all your goddamn fault. So, yeah, love. Like the scripture says, uh, open rebuke is better than secret love. But they don't read the scriptures. They don't give a damn about the scriptures. They don't, they do not care. These people, they do not care about the scriptures. At all. The scriptures hold no weight to the people out here, man. They don't care about the scriptures. All they want to hear is uh, what the pastor told them. Oh, God love everybody. What, what, do you, what do you get from that? Nothing. Videos. Each video is supposed to, is supposed to, uh, you know, shit. sometimes it cuts you. you know Put the you fear look? in you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, should, you should, you should, you should listen to what the brothers, because you know, the Lord speaking through men. You got to listen to what they saying, and then say, okay, am I doing what they saying to do? And if you ain't, then you should be cut, and you should put that fear. You said fear, then you gonna do what you did, then you gonna uh, get.
get better. Now, you're not supposed to just watch his videos just so you can feel oh. me. Because it doesn't make you feel better. But you're not supposed to just do it like just to, for entertainment or some shit. All right, it is comforting, though. Yeah, it's comforting, but it makes you feel better, but it, but it makes you do something. It don't make you just feel better and you can just sit on your ass. Like, oh, like, oh, that the low feel good today. Yeah, and then go back to eating pork. It makes you feel good because, you know, it gives you encouragement, but then it makes you want to do, it makes you want to do shit. Like, it gives oh, you, a, it gives you inspiration. Yeah, yeah. And what does the word inspiration mean? The word inspiration, the word spire, that comes from the word to breathe. Like the word spirit, ins uh, inspiration, same word to be in the spirit, inspiration. But you breathe in that life, that breath of life in you, which is the truth. I thought it said, but I think... I don't know for sure, but motivation, I probably got to be some mood. Like, oh, yeah, I'm sure. I got a dictionary. Oh, oh, I, yeah, I well, let's get that dictionary. We're going to look up all the, you know my hands is cold. I'm going to do it. Gotta have a dictionary. Oh, that's another thing. Man, we bringing out definitions. These people don't give a goddamn what words mean and what definitions. You, you look stupid out here reading uh, <laughs> definitions. Read a dictionary, man. You super. They thought, you know, man, they fuck these people, man. Yeah, I was sorry as fuck. I was at work. And the dude, he was, he was playing like, yeah, the pharmacy is going off, you know, pretty much. The pharmacy, fuck that shit. He's the earth. And I was like, yeah. This word pharmacy means witchcraft. And he's like, oh, whatever. And he was just like, God damn, I thought you'd be excited to learn about that. But Yeah, when you read in the New Testament, when you see when Paul speaks about witchcraft, when you look that word witchcraft up in the Greek, it says pharmakia. What do you say? Motivation. Or oh, motivate. Well, it doesn't give me the root word, really? Hold up. Oh, you got to go back to motive. Okay, I'll get it. Uh, to stimulate to action. Provide with an incentive or motive. Impel, incite. The act or process of motivating an incentive, an inducement, or motive, especially an act. But it comes from the word motive. I just want to see the root word. Yeah, well, like you said, it means to move. To uh, it comes from the Latin, movare. Which means to move. Yeah, get up and move. Six, six, six. Look at that. Look, you see that? Uh, look. What was it? That demon. That demon. Uh, Back with book bag, six, six, six. Hey, they just, uh, that's just the scum of the earth. I mean, that's just some gremlins right there, that's all. Yeah, I remember thinking of the scripture. Because it said some troglodytes. There's some actual troglodytes out here. Look, they actually. This would look like they was on the Lord of the Rings or something. Some fucking. <laughs> some orcs. I know these people into all kind of weird sexual shit out here. It's become normal to be a fucking sexual freak. You know what I mean? To be all open about your sex life and putting it in front of everybody. Trannies walking down the street. Showing their butt cheeks and balls. It's just fucking weird out here, man. We can't take this shit. We get tired of seeing this shit. Everybody's gotta be a goddamn weirdo. That's the best motivator. Hey, hey, when somebody's shooting at you, I bet your ass move real quick. <laughs> tired as fuck. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody starts shooting you guys. That's the You know what I'm saying? It's late to be hurt. Trash that hurt. You know what I'm saying? Somebody starts shooting you. I'm gonna give a fuck. You might be in pain and shit. It's still that electric car that is in the Yeah. Adrenaline, yeah. You feel that pain. Come on. That's how the spirit get on it. We know the Lord. We know the terror of the Lord. The Lord can fuck us up. You know, we out here, we his servants. But he can, he'll can, he mess up even, us up even more than one of these average people. Because of what our responsibility is. 
we don't up, uphold our end of the deal, the Lord can just take us out. Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left us, entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of him. Let's get down to verse. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, as any man fall after the same example of unbelief. You know, I was thinking too. You know that these average Christians, they don't, they don't teach the fear of the Lord. They don't fear the Lord. They, they, they don't fear the Lord at all. They think, you know, what I mean, they just do whatever they want with no uh, repercussions. They, they got no fear at all. They, they just walk around lollygagging, just happy. When I was a Christian. I remember hearing one of them break it down. They said, "You're supposed to fear the Lord." They say, "That just means to respect, <laughs> not to be fear." Which I mean. You look at the definition, one of the definitions is to respect, but you're supposed to actually fear him, you're supposed to be scared, you know, until a certain you know. Luke 19, thou knew I was an austere man. I get that next. Let me get this one real quick. He said, you knew I was an austere man. <laughs> Proverbs 1 and 7. <coughs> it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of the knowledge. Before you can learn anything at all, bro, you gotta fear the Lord. And you should be afraid of the Lord. Okay. Uh, Psalms 130 and 3 says, If thou, Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there, but there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be here. Yeah, you gotta fear the most high. Cause he's the one that can mess you up, man. He could, the Lord can take you out at any minute. You think you got your whole week planned out? Oh, you going to a dinner on Thursday with the family? No, the coat of us could jump off the curb at any minute and just take you out, splatter you all over the concrete. You know what I mean? They be out here Sweeping you, up, sweeping you up with a push broom and a shovel. Don't keep them by here. Don't keep them by here. The who? Number two. 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 I don't know. I don't pay attention to the buses. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah. You said it. You said it. Now go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You push the freedom, Lord, because he, you got the, like the script says, uh. Great in mercy, but he's also great in wrath. Like he can, he can have mercy on you, or he can just show complete utter no mercy. You know what I'm saying? Just wipe the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Wipe, wipe you off the fucking face of the earth. Yeah, he can torture you. The yeah. Most High is the King of Terror. Yeah. Man, especially if you if you blast me, the Lord, and you come against the servants, man, he can hit you with some kind of plague. He he can give you AIDS, give you syphilis all up in your eyes. You know what I mean? He just give you some kind of terrible disease you ain't never heard of, bro. The Lord, is, he ain't nothing to play with. You could commit adultery, and then your, your penis could get chopped off, or you could go, get paralyzed, now you can't have sex no more. That's how the Lord likes to do people. Or the Lord is, you get your arms ripped off. Route 161 and Bush Boulevard. Died a couple years later after died a terrible death. The Lord ain't nothing to play with, man. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm about to get this. 19. Where is that? Now, no, I was an austere man. Hold on. Well, I got, huh? Hey, it's a 19, right? Uh. But he, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. This is Luke 19 and uh, I'll start at 20. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have laid up in the napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. And austere, that's where you get the word austerity. The word austere, that means to be severe. It means to be very strict. 
Okay, he ain't playing no game serious. Okay, the Lord, the Lord, is, the Lord ain't about no foolishness. The Lord is serious. He's serious about doing the Father's business. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up, that thou laidest not down, and reapest, that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Why don't we look up that word? Know the dictionary can always say it better than I can. The Lord, oh, my, my dictionary got messed up, man. It's that good dictionary. It's that American heritage. That's my personal favorite. Huh? I don't, I don't even know everybody's channel. YouTube is hard. To, YouTube is trash. How you say? It? How you say wicked? Yeah. Wicked. All right, let's go do that. We gotta go try out for some play. I wanna do, I wanna do some theater. I don't wanna do no movies, bro. I wanna do some theater. <laughs> do some Shakespeare. Oh, shit. I wanna be the bad guy. All right, let's go. Where is we at? Oh yeah, I'll see. We gonna look at the Lord. Say he's an austere man. So we gotta look up. I know y'all don't y'all don't even know how to use a dictionary. <laughs> they be like, how do I find the words? How many people you think got a dictionary at their house? They look at you like you stupid because you read a dictionary. Well here it is, that actually makes you not stupid. And when you don't read it, that makes you stupid. Uh austere. It was a prophet of the Lord. The Lord turned him to the fast, and then somebody came, he had a false prophet or something, came and told him to come eat. And then he ran against the Most High, and the Most High had a lion come, pretty much kill his ass, don't even eat him. So that's like, that's the example. Have... The Lord can do that to you. He's the man of the Lord. The Lord still can kill his ass. The Lord can mess you up. He could hit you with leprosy, bro. Especially, so if you're a dark skinned person, and the Lord hit you with leprosy. Now you look like a. Like a so-called white man. He could hit you with all kind of crazy bugged out plagues. Cancer. Yeah, he give you cancer, lungs, give you colon cancer, bro. That's a punishment from the Lord. That's why a lot of these people, they catch a colon cancer. Uh, what's this? This is austere. Did the Lord say he's an austere man? That's in uh, Luke the 19th chapter. The definition of austere is severe or stern in disposition or appearance. Oh, he's stern in appearance. So when you see the Lord, his appearance, he's not walking around looking all happy. Tell my come my children, come sit on my lap. That's some faggot shit. The Lord ain't no weakling. He don't act like that. The quality of being austere. So, oh, actually, I skipped it. <laughs> Severe or stern in disposition or appearance. Somber. Grave. Grave. Strict or severe. Oh, listen to this. Listen. Strict or... <laughs> can't read it. Strict or severe in moral discipline. Aesthetic. He's strict or severe in moral discipline. So the Lord said he's an austere man. Which means he's strict and severe in moral discipline. Without adornment or ornamentation. Simple. Oh, the Lord is simple. The truth is simple. What's the truth? The Lord only came for the Israelites. That's the truth. The kingdom of heaven is for the nation of Israel. That's that's the simplicity. The simplicity. I can't even talk. That's the simplicity of Yahweh Shah. That's how easy. That's easy, ain't it? That's not hard. That's easy. That's simple. The Lord only, that's the truth. Did not the Lord say what? Go not to the way of the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the gospel. That the kingdom is for Israel. The Lord's going to restore the kingdom to the Israelites. That's the truth in a nutshell. That's the gospel. The Lord's going to come back to the earth. And he's going to set up his kingdom 
which is going to be ruled by the Lord and his people, the Israelites. And all nations will be under our feet. That's the truth. That's the gospel. Simple. And that's pretty much the point. And that is the simplicity, man. That's the truth. That's crazy, too, because the truth is so easy and it's so simple, but people still can't get it. That's crazy, ain't it? I think my hands froze. He said, woe unto me if I preach. He said, woe unto me. And that's going back to what we was talking about, the fear of the Lord. He said, that's the fear right there. He said, woe unto me. Who is that? Paul, right? What scripture is that? Let me get that. You know the number you remember? We need to get that. I just need to remember. It. What is it? 1 Corinthians 9 and 16. He said, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Because he knew that he was commanded to do the work. And the Lord knocked him off the horse and all that. So he knew if he did not do the work of the Lord and teach his gospel, he was going to get fucked up. Okay, he, okay, he knew, because he had the fear, he knew the fear of the Lord. He knew that the Lord is nothing to be played with. So that's the mindset you're supposed to be have. If you're supposed to have the mindset, it was, oh shit, I better do this work. I better get my ass out in the streets and teach this gospel or the Lord going to jack me up. That's the spirit you're supposed to be in. That's the fear of the Lord. The woe unto you. But it is the opposite of that too. Woe unto you if you don't preach the gospel. But what happens if you do preach it? See what I'm saying? That's, what, that's that eternal life. That's the kingdom of heaven. We well, just read a scripture on that earlier. All that first John, the first chapter. About them who... He said he, he came into the world and the world knew him not. But them that did receive me, that they're going to get everlasting life. These people, they good with everlasting darkness. They like it. They like that. They, they like living with the snakes and the, with the evil demons. You know what I mean? The foul creatures. You get tougher. Well, it is an old saying. Uh, uh, they say pain is weakness leaving the body. You ever hear that before? We say that a lot in the Marines. They be like, pain is weakness leaving the body. That's really what it is when the Lord messing you up you, to them trials and tribulations. You know, that's just weakness. He, he purifying you of that weak, weak spirit, he giving you a strong spirit, the spirit of a lion. Go ahead. Sorry about that, that was gross. It's <laughs> tearing right at me, I'm close tonight. We gotta go, bro. I be wicked, Lord, unto me. If I be righteous, yet when I lift up my head, I am cool. Therefore, I see that my head. Like that. Joe understood that. Oh, okay. Joe understood that nobody's a victim of Joe unless you the elect. But even if you the elect, you still get fucked up. Somebody got this. You know, we understood that there's no respect of persons with the Lord. So you can say, oh, you could be a late, but if you go commit adultery, that's first of all, that's trying the Lord. Then he's still going to punish you. Even if he does forgive you, he's still going to punish you. 
fuck your ass up. You know what I'm saying? So he knows that if I be with it, woe unto me. You know what I'm saying? Right, because we already know, we, like we said, we already know if we we not doing what we commanded, the Lord going to jack us up. So when that happens, really, you praise the Lord when he fucks you up. Because then he, that's him showing his power and showing you that he's real. If you commit a sin and the Lord jacks you, you got to praise the Lord when he jacks you up. Even if he jacks you up for no reason. Which, there's always a reason. Just like Job, the Lord's messing up Job bad. And Job, he just praised the Lord. You know what I mean? He never turned his back on the Lord. That's how you're supposed to be. And you, these people in the world, they get down and out. They poor. They ain't got no money. They'll be like, oh, the Lord ain't real. He he don't care about me. He don't love me. They quick to throw the, you know, when they're doing good, they hallelujah, amen, you know. But when they're doing bad, they throw the Lord to the side. Little trash people, bro. Trash ass spirits out here. They got they faithless. They got no faith. Their lack of faith is disturbing. <laughs> That's the best line ever. Their lack of faith is disturbing. It is it's disturbing. Yeah. It's irksome. It's irksome. Yeah, it's crazy. I was driving here. I was driving here. I see somebody like this place. It says godless. God. Oh, fuck. Cause that's the spirit that's in the world. That's why the Lord said, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. That's why he said in James 4 and 4, we already read it. He said, if any man's a friend of the world, he's an enemy of the most high. The shit like that. Yeah, get that. These people out here are just wicked as all hell. They just doing whatever the hell they want to do. That's good though. That's just fulfilling a prophecy. You know what I mean? Because... What good is of a fire if it can't burn something, right? You're going to need fuel for that fire. So that's what two-thirds of Israel's for. And the heathen, that's what y'all for. What's that? That's, a, that's that kindle for the fire. Got that? Yeah. Uh, second, <clears throat> two, and uh, seven it says deliver just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Right, because Lot he was vexed by the filthy conversation of the wicked, just like we get vexed. People out here running their mouth talking about, oh, they blaspheme the Bible. They say the Bible's bullshit. You know, they got trainees running around. You know, people talking about drugs. You know, I used to be a minister. What's that? I used to be a minister at a Christian church. Oh yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to one in a while. Tell me because of my wife and we got a transportation issue. Yeah, you probably it's probably a good thing you ain't been. Because <laughs> in churches they're not teaching the truth. They're not teaching what the Bible said. That's very yeah, true. The Bible said the Lord only came for the Israelites. You know that? Yeah. The Lord only dealing with it. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel. The churches ain't teaching that. That's the truth. They teach everything against the Bible. They said it by the devil. Yep. Well, God bless y'all. I hope y'all get people to come and talk to y'all. All right. Yeah, so, I, I, I get this. We don't even care if people talk to us. The most they talk is madness. Go ahead. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul. From right, 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 right. Hold on. That's, like, people think that. Like, we out here to get people. I mean, we out here to get the elect. Like, we already said, oh, I have a thousand people and one person is going to get it. People ain't gonna listen to us. We ain't out here to gather a bunch of people to get a big crowd. You know what I mean? These people, why we wanna talk to these people? We get vexed by what they gotta say. That shit vexes our spirit. Like your boy telling me he was a minister in the church. That vexed my spirit. They always coming up here giving you, oh, I'm a Christian. I'm trying to hear that shit, man. Go ahead. Says, read that all part. I'm sorry, read all that again. The righteous man dwelling among them is seeing and hearing vexes righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. With their unlawful deeds. Why like, we already got a, women walk around totally out of order. That's nothing worse than listening to the conversation with a woman. Oh, you your boy a Freemason. He got his necklace, you see it? Oh see, he, he say he's over there with Esau. He throwing up his squares. 
ain't going to sell out, bro. We a Freemason. That's Jay for you, man. He, he proudly wearing that thing, too. But, yeah, you get tired of hearing what these people talking about. Yeah? These people's speech, it, it vexes our spirit. Like, when we get together, we talk, we, we hitting scriptures. You know what I mean? We pray, we talking about the Lord. These people do. These people don't never talk about the Lord in their everyday speech. You know, they don't never do that. The, the thought of the Lord is never on their mind. But it, when it's always in the front of our mind, you know what I mean? Because, you know, when these people, when they walk around in their everyday life, they don't stop and think, like, oh, is this against the scriptures? Should I do this? What does the scriptures have to say about that? They don't think like that. Fuck these people. They come with the burn, gonna burn like an oven. What you got? Two says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. Oh, yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Read that again. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. Now thou canst not bear them which are evil. You cannot bear them which are evil. We cannot bear them which are evil. We can't take it. We don't want to be around these people. We praying that the Lord kills these people. He destroys them. That's what's going to happen to two-thirds of Israel because they ain't no damn good. They the reasons we still here living in this shit. They don't want to follow the, the, the commandments of the Lord. People are wicked as hell. They pretty much devil worshippers. They mean the demons. Go ahead. Oh, they tried them to say they're apostles that are not. Like all these people talking about, oh, they know the scriptures. All these, you got all these pastors and preachers talking about it. They don't know the scriptures. Every time we try them, we find out they're full of shit. Every time we read the scriptures, they got nothing to say. Oh, they said, oh, that's hate speech. You seen it earlier. Your boy talking about he know the Bible. Didn't he say he was a preacher too or something? They claim, they, you know, we read the scriptures and you find out they all full of shit. Because nothing they say line up with the scriptures. Go ahead. Found them to be liars. All them Christians. Oh, <laughs> I ain't gonna say his name. Your boy trash. All these Christians, bro, they don't, they don't know nothing. Anybody else too? All the rest of you whacked out people. Y'all don't got no truth. We the only ones that have the truth. This is a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you righteous, you claim yourself to be righteous, then you should know and understand that this place is wicked and you should hate it. Because righteousness is contrary to wickedness. You know what I'm saying? But if you have nothing, if you have no problem with this place, and you want to say, oh, love, you want to have, we have all type of love for this place, that means you got wickedness in us, you know, sir. Like you said, uh, hate, the, hate the world, love the world, whatever. The love yeah. of the Father's not in you. The love of the Father's not in you. Cause this 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 shit that you see this ain't this ain't this ain't the this ain't the father. You got homosexuality. You got all right. Cause he said because the things of the world are what the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Nose is not of the father. But what's the lust of the flesh? Like the homosexual, the sexual shit. People. It's like a it's like a fucking it's like Pornhub in real life. It's just some freak, a freak show. Every you walk down the street, you got trannies, prostitutes, whores. Homosexuals, people showing their butt cheeks, balls, uh, camel toes. 
That is disgusting, bro. I'm trying to see all this. Women walk around, titties popping out, tattoos on the titties. Shit's insanity. You gonna tell me that's of the Lord? They go to church with tattoos on their titties. Get the fuck out. You're showing their breasts in church. You know, they always got their breasts exposed every time. Yeah, tw they twerk at church, yeah. Smacking each other's ass twerking the church. I've seen, I've seen the videos. They should get put to death. Oh, they are going to get put to death for that. Why the fuck is she twerking? Two spots. It's the woman. He just screwed up. The woman. Yeah. The Israelite woman. That's, 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 uh, that's, uh, inconsiderate. It's fucking, because you, you gotta think, people got part two, two over here fucking taking two spots and shit. The woman yeah. only cares about the woman. That's why I, I remember you said, I think you said last week that driving, you know, gut tells people's spirits, everybody's yeah. an asshole. They won't self let you over. The average person is very selfish. And you, yeah, when you drive and you can see how selfish everybody is, everybody from the, I, I consider, I let people get in front of me, bro. You know what I mean? Just be nice. Like, go ahead, bro. You got this. You know what I mean? I don't even care if I'm late because I don't give a fuck. Get over this motherfucker way back there. As soon as you put your blinker on, they yeah. Like, I can't get over. This motherfucker, like you speed up, try to get past, and they'll speed up, and you slow down. They get behind them. They won't. They won't let you get behind them, let alone in front of them. Like, God damn. Yeah, I'm gonna read this. Second Ezra five and seven. And the Sodomish Sea shall cast out fish. <laughs> it's the Sodomish Sea right here. This I can't even say that Sodomish Sea. It's full of Sod it's a sea of Sodomites out here. That's all you see. And the Sodom Sodomish sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, ooh, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. There shall be a confusion also in many places, places, and the fire shall be be uh, excuse me, I, I can't even see it. Oh, oft. And the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places and mistress woman shall bring forth monsters but look and salt uh, and salt water shall be found in the sweet uh, this is all parabolic salt water is the sweet you can't even get no proper nourishment no proper hydration out here the salt water is poisonous that's the water of this world is poisonous water oh we got that water you sip on this water you won't never be thirsty again and salt water shall be found in the sweet and all their friends shall destroy one another. Oh, that's how it is out here, too. And it's really going to get even worse soon. Uh, then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into its secret chamber. Yeah, that understanding withdrew itself into that secret chamber. And hey, it's the secret chamber. We got to understand. Y'all ain't got nothing. Y'all got confusion. You know what I mean? We got blessed with the truth. The Lord hit, hit everybody else with confusion. They got no wit. That's why anybody that come against us, they're like, oh, y'all teaching lies. Well, let's check out the scriptures. Because we're always right. We're never wrong. We can proudly say that we're always right and we're never, ever wrong, ever. Okay? Because we have 100% truth. That's a fact. Okay? The scriptures say you have an unction from the holy ones. And ye know all things. That's First John 1 and, uh, what is that, 121? Something like that. So we got an unction from the Holy One. We know all things. And any kind of bullshit coming up here, they're getting slayed. They're getting terminated. You're getting shut down, son. But we got the truth, and there's only one truth. Uh, I was about to read. Let me read that again. It said, which shall hide itself? And understanding would draw itself into a secret chamber. Right? There's no understanding out here. I mean, we read out the Bible. And it said the Lord only came for the Israelites, but nobody would believe it. Even though it's right there in the Bible over and over again. In all the pages. Say the Lord only came for the Israelites, but you can't understand it. Because the Lord said understanding will withdraw itself into a secret chamber. It's in that secret chamber and y'all can't get to it. The Lord, because the truth and understanding is not for everybody. Oh, that's pretty much the point on that one. You get the rest of it. That was a good scripture right there. <laughs> Understanding shall withdraw itself. 
fuck. So you gonna tell me the Bible ain't true? Yeah, understanding, it definitely withdrew itself. Why they wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. They got no knowledge. They wise on their own conceits. But they really got no wisdom. You got something? If there be any to execute a judgment, people are, they say you can't judge nobody. Only God can judge. <laughs> These people, they don't care about judgment. We care about judgment. We want to live in the kingdom. We ain't trying to stay in this. Man, people are gone, bro. Go ahead. What do you say? Ooh, look at your boy, man. It made my toes cold. Ah. My toes over here. My toes is cold as fuck. He wearing flip flops, bro. I don't even eat him. I will walk down the street in the winter wearing goddamn flip flops. Where is that at? Look at that. Uh, look at that. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Unseeker for justice. Then we look it up. I thought it was 58. Like 50, it's 50 something. Now I'm pleading for truth or something like that. Isaiah, this is talking about uh, the Lord's people. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. A lot of people, they, they don't even believe the Lord can save. They don't think the Lord is real. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Right, so the Lord hears our cries. He hears our prayers. Uh, when we out here teaching, the Lord hears us teach. We know, that's another reason we out here. We know the Lord sees us out here. He hears us. We out here crying to the Lord, come and destroy this place. It said, but your iniquities have separated between you and your, and your power. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are, this is talking about to these people, two thirds of Israel. For your hands are defiled with blood, your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perverseness. And that's what comes out of these people's mouths is what lies, perverseness, everything they talking about is perverse, just against the truth. None call it for justice. Right, and none for call for justice. But we can well say that all the Edomites are going to be exterminated according to the scriptures. That's justice. But these people, they come against like a, uh, what else? That? They suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. They, they want to say, they want the Lord to save their oppressor. They want the Lord to save the Edomites. No, we praying that the Lord destroy the Edomites. You know what I mean? These people are crazy. Look, none call for justice nor any pleaded for truth. That's why we the only ones pleading for the truth. That's why we the only ones out here teaching. There should be people teaching everywhere on the streets, but they're not. That's because none call it for justice, nor any pleaded for truth. They trust in vanity. They speak lies. They can see mischiefs and bring forth iniquity. Oh, yeah, we could keep going. They hatch cockatrice's eggs. Oh, you got to look up a cock. You want a fucking cockatrice? Bro, you don't even want to go into that. It's like a little tiny, 
tiny little half chicken, half dragon. The breeze fire. This is this is some buck that shit. You can do a whole. I, I meant to, oh, the battery about to die. I'm gonna skip down here real quick. Isaiah 59 and 7. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting in destructions in their path. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Wherever goeth there and shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, neither does justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity for brightness, but we walk in darkness. I can't get the rest of it. Oh, my bad. It's gone. We out of here, the battery about to die. I'm going to say Shalom.